Hello, Mac Warriors and tacticians of the future. Welcome back to Battletech and playing hardball. So here we are. We did a few missions for the uh, yeah, on this uh, local government planet. There's nothing else to do here because yeah, the stuff, as we remember, would only cost us rep. And here, this one, Torians. Magistracy, actually, we do have 18, uh, we, we have 18, yeah, no, we are not, we don't want to get into the negative with anybody, so in here, navigation, All report normal activity. it's the one, so, we're going for this flashpoint now, for the Capellan Confederation. We need to make uh, up with them because, yeah, we we did some missions against them, and yeah, it's a good opportunity, I think, to get some rep with them again. So House Liao requires our assistance in the dismantling of a prominent crime syndicate working in concert with Capellan ground forces. We will capture the op force personnel and seize their financial assets. They always command. follow the money, right? follow the money and then you land in Switzerland uh, no, just fun that work order you submitted is complete fun I've fact, got the financial report which is of course there, there is more than just one grain of truth of course so here we are well we don't have anything to build everything set actually and well I found it pretty fun with the assassin actually maybe we should keep it around on the other hand, yeah. it's just a little one. I guess we can put it in storage. Let's put it in storage. Sword in action. It's limited. Would have been really cool to have one early. But we didn't get so lucky. The Vulcan. Same goes for the Vulcan. That could, be, could have been really, really cool to fight more with it but uh, he's also very versatile and he can mount quite some armor so he's, uh, he's not so much in danger as I would have thought so let's keep him around as well and I would like to keep around uh, keep the rifleman around as well because uh, I'd like to see him a little bit more in action like long range so quick draw cool that he's so quick and uh, can jump around for that weight class of 60 but it's also a bit limited so I guess we saw enough of it um, and we can put him in storage as well so that's the thing and we can actually mess around a little bit with the cutter frag with the ECM cutter frag a little bit more um, Yeah, so and then Thunderbolt is an excellent mech and ah by the way maybe we can actually upgrade something, let's have a look. But of course uh, it's, it's not such a heavy mech. SRMs. I think we have better ones, right? Or do we? Yeah, this one, no, it's four damage. Ah, no, actually, no, we don't. Not this one here. So, we can exchange this one. It's this one for a little bit more instability damage. Otherwise, it's fine. And then. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. We have all the good stuff in our main max anyway. There's nothing further to upgrade, I think. But is there? We do have. Oh no, by the way, we do have double things, right? We have more double.
wooden things. He's got, yeah, he's set up now. So this is our power marauder now. But he doesn't even have heat sinks because he doesn't have them. Gauss rifle. And he's already, he's also really, pretty much set up. Extend damage on the arm. Yeah, it's really, the Orion, our Orion is really excellent. Got him pretty early. We ran him for a long time. Oh yeah, there's a heat sink. So let's refit the Warhammer. And I think we do have a heat, double heat sink uh, spare, right? There should be one left, maybe. I think I do remember that. Lots of arm mods. Thanks. Actually, no, I already has it. Okay, no, it's fine. There's the ER S laser. laser 150 meters and the normal M laser is 270 it gives us a little bit more visibility oh and we have another really good S laser um, so let's have a look I think our our king crab only has double plus lasers right he does. And I think yeah, the others don't have any support weapons. So let's replace this one. Just increasing his potential a little bit more. And then Actually, we could put it on, on one side. We could both put all. We could put. Uh, we could put all lasers on one side, and then we could put another arm mod on the other one. And then it's even beastier with 135. Oh no, we don't have one that doesn't weigh anything. Oh, I thought we, we got something, but it's fine. And if we jump, by the way, what kind of damage do we get? Self damage, 125. And this one costs also. Yeah, well, one part is too big, okay. Yeah, well, no, then, then we can just do it like this. Confirm it. Last plant was pretty costly for us though. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Given the loss of our Gauss ammo. But it's fine. By the way, our um Job's done, Commander. Yep, it's fine, so you guys can relax now. Have a vacation. Oh, quarantine. Darius assembles the staff for an emergency meeting. Hammer has contracted contagious, potentially fatal disease, likely from a recent shore leave excursion. We need to isolate an entire med bay until he recovers. I have also notified the local authorities. They believe we've encountered local strain of periphery pox, can provide targeted drugs for 80,000 seabulls. It's deep price, but probably necessary. So my volunteers. I know somebody at a pharmaceutical research lab. They've been looking for somebody to test their new antivirals on. It would be 200,000 to get in on the ground floor, but it would give us permanent access to the drug. And um, well, we do have a lot of money. Let's do this. Let's invest 200,000. Oh. 
Hammer is quarantined in one of the med bays and the antivirals administered, he is soon joined by Phantom. Fearful rumors of the virus are countered by the story of Sumaya's acquisition of the antivirals. Well, these two mech warriors will be out of commission for a while. The dangerous time passes quickly, leaving them exhausted but recovering. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. The morale decreased by one. But I guess maybe in the long term this was a good uh, investment, huh? Well then, so let's continue on our way. Uh, what I wanted to say here, che check out, ah yeah, here the, the section, the drive section. Looked similar actually. Oh cool. Did you see it? They had these other pots on them there. Two pots down there attached to the ship, that's cool. of traffic there okay I think I'm not saying anything but just drinking my tea until we are there and ju let's just enjoy this without me interfering Volkovite Martyrs, we and Darius have finished networking for new contracts on Euris and are walking through a farmer's market with Majestic who is on shore leave. Oh no. Ah, and that's at Athletic. Well, the street preacher suddenly appears at our elbow. Have you heard the good word of the Volkovites? He presses a pamphlet into our hands, emblazoned with a stylized V. The preacher studies the insignia on our gear. You! You were there when the Capellan stormtroopers descended on the great martyrs. Looking around, we see the same stylized V on numerous necklaces, patches and even etched into a young woman's rifle butt. The crowd has grown quietly attentive. Oh, I guess they start shooting and we'll have some problems, huh? Uh, well, let's try to talk our way out of this. Tell them that they've got the wrong mercenaries. Yeah, being outside of our mech is a bad thing. The confused preacher makes a half-hearted argument about our identity before giving up and moving down the street with his pamphlets. The rest of the crowd hums for a moment longer, disappointed at the lack of conflict, but then continues with their business in the market. Darius breathes a sigh of relief. Commander, we may or may not have made the right decisions about the Volkovites, but they are Lady Liao's problem now, not ours. Best to stay out of this as best we can. I actually didn't really uh, remember this. The Volkovites, did we help them? It, it, it was like... It felt like they wanted to fight, but if we had helped them, no, not. I think we destroyed them, right? So it's fine. So better not take any chances here, as we are mercenaries and our lives are always in danger anyway. So let's. 
Oh no, and I actually I want to just look at something. It's in the star map. Oh, we are nearly there. So we were here, right? No, they don't have any pox. So let's get to the planet. There we are. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Uh, that's fine. And before we begin with the criminal minds, let's have a look at the planet. Oh, there's someone new. Oh, Tinker. What's up, boss? Standing by. Orders? She looks a little bit like uh, the girl from Big Bang Theory, the uh, the biologist who got together with Sheldon. It's a tactician, Alice Child of one of the Counts of Galax. Well, okay, we'll hire her on as she is a Kickstarter. New mech warriors available. Oh, and this guy has I'm ready. Short. So let's have a look. Uh, or firstly, at the store before we forget it. Trikeratops. Weapons. They make good PPCs, apparently. But otherwise, nothing of note. No annihilator parts. Oh, I do regret it. Not buying it. Well, we, we could actually, maybe at some point we should buy an urban mech for our uh, for our collection. But yeah. Uh, so let's have, let's have a look at the contracts, and then we'll check out the barracks, give some promotions. Oh. It's all against the pirates. And it will be a waste. Of rep. It doesn't even pay so well. Actually, I think the these high star contracts they should pay way better. And I also think that we probably should do this contract first. Oh, it's against the Capellans. Okay, I mean, if we lose the reputation with the pirates, yeah, we can still do four and a half skulls, so we can still do it. Yeah, so I guess as we have minus 13 with the capellans. unwise to push it further back so it's fine I guess so let's have a look at our Mac warriors before we end this episode and the next one we'll start with the with the flashpoint ready to rock reporting uh, by the way it could be that uh, waiting for orders our good pilots are beyond the point where they, where they get uh, any <coughs> any um, experience from the simulators. This federal Technician Nobility Bookish as well. Yeah, so Whisper. Orders. Can't be upgraded either, so it's fine. 
I like her. Okay then, so guys, that was a nice trip. Some interesting stuff happened. Pox. And a potential disastrous uh, encounter with the locals. Um, please enlighten me if you remember what we did about these Volkovites. I, but I think it was something negative, right? These guys, uh, I think we fought them. I think these other guys that we helped get away. There was someone else, I think. Yeah, like with, other, with this other shoddy mercenary company that helped the people. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. I uh, hope you liked this episode. I appreciate it if you click the like button and you're very welcome to join the channel if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye-bye.